Hey guys, I'm back with a <coughs> COD 4 match because I'm really, really sick of not being able to find a game in World War, and when I do find a game, it's often dominated by newbie campers or SMG whores. I mean, my friend told me that COD 4 is consistent with the matchmaking, and yeah, that's true. I mean, I rarely find a game that I can't go into because I don't have a map. I mean, I don't think anybody here plays the map packs very much anymore, but COD 4 has a lot of problems, but you know, this match is actually pretty good. I was very happy with it. It's domination on uh, what's it called? Backlot? No, it's not backlot. Backlot's a good map though. Oh shoot, I don't know. That's how long I, that's how long it's been since I've played this thing. <laughs> It'll come to me sooner or later. Alright, so then I've just got the Barrett here. Now the Barrett's pretty good, but it, the hit detection can be very, very bad. I mean it becomes fifty fifty chance of getting a kill. And I'm, I'm not kidding, you might see that in this video, but you'll definitely see it on the video when I'm on Countdown, if I even recorded that one. I think I did. Yeah, I did. So you'll see that later today. <clears throat> also, sorry if I seem, if it's not like a depression zone, I'm extremely congested and I have no idea why. I mean, it's not because of my allergies. My allergies used to be really bad, but I'm growing out of them, so that can't be it. Ah, yes, the base B corridor. Nice area to defend. It's also funny, some guy tries to no-scope me, I think, two or three times, and I, each time I just no-scope him or blast with my Colt. Notice that? That should have gone right through his Juggernaut, because that was a neck shot. Notice that. The Barrett's damage is high enough, so you'd be able to do that. But, nope, guess not. Denied of a kill. Not even an assist for that, too. That's really bad. Now, if you're going to try and attack base C from here, it's not very easy because there's these walls and stuff that you can hide behind. You can go through it, but you're not going to get a one shot unless you get him in the head, and, you know, that's pretty lucky. <coughs> there we go. Now, you can't really see on my screen, but there, I think there was a guy way, way down at the end. Yeah, I just followed the noob tubes. Oh, went right through his juggernaut. Didn't even hit him in the neck that time. Oh, look at that head detection. Watch that clip again if you didn't see it. Notice on his screen, it, didn't, it, it registered as like an arm or leg shot when it was actually right in the heart, which is way more than enough for a one shot. That's just one of the many reasons why I, I hate Call of Duty 4 with a violent passion. But, I mean, at least I can always find a session. And because of that, there's a higher chance I'll find a good session. Although, probably each commentary I'll have some BS death. Because, I mean, you don't die because of skilled kills a lot in this game. You die because of BS, and I mean, I'm not saying World of War doesn't do that, I mean, yesterday World of War is being so bad. Oh my god, and before the guys literally run to the corners, and they sit there with their silencers, and some of them don't even need camouflage, or at least they don't think they do. They said, no, we don't need camouflage. What are you stopping about it, even though it's useless? It's a two-shot kill with or without it. Unless you shoot a juggernaut, but still, wow, one more bullet with an MP40, whoa. And considering all the attachments you can get for it, that you can only get for SMGs. I don't know how he didn't get me there, I got stunned. <clears throat> oh yeah, this guy, this guy's funny. He knows I'm here, I know he's there. Wha-bam! No scope. That is why semi auto tends to dominate over bolt. He didn't even have ACOG, so that's <clears throat> not the best choice for it. And he sees me again. And he gets almost hit. And he toss a frag, I think. And then, I don't know, he, he's put into remission. He doesn't know what to do. And there he goes. Hip fire. Miss. Try that again. And there we go. You know, not the best kill I've had, but <clears throat> he died at least. And this, oh, this next part's pretty fun. I think that guy might have spawned there. And they died, almost died from his martyrdom, and then they get an extremely lucky knife kill on the guy who came to no scope me again. I'm going to not really say that knife kill was all luck. He he could have easily had me, but I mean that the only reason why knife is because it was at such an awkward angle too. Oh, yeah, I hit him again. Fifth kill. Thanks for the airstrike, buddy. I call it in right away because these guys are going to be breathing down my back. And what do we pick up? The meaty ray of some machine guns. Notice, look at the scrape. I mean, I hit him to the legs and he died within three shots. And then this guy tries to do another no-scope, and I fling. I call him a choppa, except I can't, and that gets me killed. See? He cornered me. That was a legitimate death. 
If only there were more of those in this game. If only. If only there were more legitimate kills and legitimate deaths. There we go. He's down. Right. You just gotta watch yourself as you spawn. I mean, this side is pretty safe, but... I've learned to never trust the spawns, and if I do want to go spawn camping... Or not spawn camping, spawn raping, I'll just... Put myself so far away from their spawns, but within a good angle. When they spawn, I'm like, I'll boom dead. That's really what I do, because with range, you create room for error. And I'm saving my helicopter. I'm not going to try and get a big kill streak. I get one more guy, and then I decide to wait. Bam, there we go. Because, unfortunately, the one thing, the one of the only things Modern Warfare 2 did for the series that was extremely beneficial, stacking kill streaks. Why not? It's such a good idea. We've earned these kill streaks. We ought to keep them. And now what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to periodically try and call in my chopper. Even though there's already one in the air. Just think it's fun to do. So, what am I doing here? I'm just looking around. I'm, I'm not really going for anybody. I wouldn't even shoot anybody if he came near me anyway. Because I need my helicopter. So then, what, what to do? Well, practice my instaproning skills. And I just go over all my classes. Yeah, M14. Love that gun. It's a challenge, but with time power, it's a two-shot kill no, no matter what, I believe. When I hit the dashboard button for no reason, I start switching guns. I don't know, doing a weird dance or something. What am I going to do? Yeah, run some laps in this little room. Guys, i got to walk off some of the pounds here. Yeah. Woo! Still waiting for the chopper, trying to practice insta-proning. It's kind of hard to do when your Barrett's super heavy, though. Okay, so I cut ahead. I, I don't think you guys would like to see me running laps around a building and practicing insta-prone. So I call him my chopper, and then try and blast this guy. Notice how I can't go through the cinder blocks, even though this is 50 cal, 12.7 rounds. And notice how none of those shots even registered. Yeah, I love that. So I was peeing away about 8 rounds. But I got a UAV, so now the chopper is here, the UAV is here. I think I get somebody with a nade, or at least injure someone. Yep, I got him. Nades are very, very good in this game, and I like that, but it makes martyrdom so, so unbearable. That's why, I, now, now you know why I don't go anywhere near these guys, I hang way the heck back, so it looks like they get cremated when they drop martyrdom. Just funny, too, I mean, when I, if I do get killed with martyrdom, I, I just say, gosh, I wish it was hardcore, so then your, your little butt friend would get killed, too. And I almost get another person with this airstrike, I think I get hit markers. Oh, maybe not. Well, I got cornered. See, that was a legitimate kill. He knew where I was, and he cornered me. You know, I, I spaz if I get cornered. I don't know what to do. I mean, I, I avoid close quarters whenever possible. Now, I don't know how many more deaths I have. Not very many. Not many at all. I, th I think I only had three or four. So then, I'm looking around. I realize we're losing by a large margin, so I'm thinking about going for our base C. Ah, and someone is flinging, looks like with a saw, or one of the weaker machine guns, because he doesn't do very much damage and I heal almost in instantly. Also, weird place for a camp war. You, you, I think you place it closer to the door. So it gets them right as they come out, as opposed to if they walk and then look back. Not well, they stop and then they move back. I think they'd be able to see it. Yes, and then base A is a firefight. It's a chaos. And then, what do I do? So, I have another frag? Oh yeah, I died. Oh no, meaty ray. Oh wait, sorry, I thought that was the M16. It didn't look anything like it on the video. Sorry about that. That, I don't know what that really was. That was just bad luck. I mean, it, it's really appalling how much luck there, there is in this game. Oh well, what am I going? 18 and 4? It's not bad. I'm happy with that ratio. Anything above 1.5, I'm jumping for joy. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll be sure to make more of these. I have another video, the one on Countdown, that I'll be sure to post. <coughs> I'll see if I can get myself decongested by the end of the day. Alright, so I'll see you guys later. Adios.